to the White House for his first visit to Washington in quite a while. Almost 24 years ago, it was on these grounds that President Abbas stood with a courageous peacemaker, then Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin. Here at the White House, President Abbas signed a declaration of principles, very important, which laid the foundation for peace between the Israelis and Palestinians. The President and Mr. President, you signed your name to the first Israeli-Palestinian peace agreement. You remember that well, right? And I want to support you in being the Palestinian leader who signs his name to the final and most important peace agreement that brings safety, stability, prosperity to both peoples and to the region. I'm committed to working with Israel and the Palestinians to reach an agreement. But any agreement cannot be imposed by the United States or by any other nation. The Palestinians and Israelis must work together to reach an agreement that allows both peoples to live, worship, and thrive and prosper in peace. And I will do whatever is necessary to facilitate the agreement, to mediate, to arbitrate, anything they'd like to do. But I would love to be a mediator or an arbitrator or a facilitator, and we will get this done. Peace also means defeating ISIS and other terrorist groups. These groups are a threat to all people who cherish human life. I know President Abbas has spoken out against ISIS and other terrorist groups, and we must continue to build our partnership with the Palestinian Security Forces to counter and defeat terrorism. I also applaud the Palestinian Authority's continued security coordination with Israel. They get along unbelievably well. I had meetings, and at these meetings, I was actually very impressed and somewhat surprised at how well they get along. They work together beautifully. But there can be no lasting peace unless the Palestinian leaders speak in a unified voice against incitement to violate and violence and hate. There's such hatred, but hopefully there won't be such hatred for very long. All children of God must be taught to value and respect human life and condemn all of those who target the innocent. As part of our efforts to move forward toward peace today, we will also discuss my administration's effort to help unlock the potential of the Palestinian people through new economic opportunities. Lastly, I want to note the positive ongoing partnership between the United States and the Palestinians on a range of issues, private sector development and job creation, regional security, counterterrorism, and the rule of law, all of which are essential to moving forward toward peace. I welcome President Abbas here today as a demonstration of that partnership, that very special partnership that we all need to make it all work. And I look forward to welcoming him back as a great mark of progress and ultimately toward the signing of a document with the Israelis and with Israel toward peace. We want to create peace between Israel and the Palestinians. We will get it done. We will be working so hard to get it done. It's been a long time, but we will be working diligently. And I think there's a very, very good chance, and I think you feel the same way. Mr. President, thank you very much. أشكركم على دعوتكم الكريمة وحفاوة الاستقبال وأتطلع إلى العمل مع سيادتكم للتوصل إلى هدفنا المشترك بتحقيق صفقة السلام التاريخية. Mr. President, Your Excellency, I would like to thank you for this uh, honorable invitation to come and meet with you, and I look much forward to working with you in order to come to that deal, to that uh, historical agreement, historic deal to uh, bring about peace. 
سيادة الرئيس الاستراتيجي الوحيد هو أن نحقق مبدأ الدولتين دولة فلسطين بعاصمتها القدس الشرقية لتعيش بأمن وسلام واستقرار إلى جانب دولة إسرائيل على حدود 1967 Mr. President, our strategic uh, option, our strategic choice is to bring about peace based on the vision of the two state, a Palestinian state with its capital of East Jerusalem that lives uh, in peace and stability uh, with the state of Israel uh, based on the borders of 1967. <laughs> لتحقيق مبادرة السلام العربية ويعزز التحالف الإقليمي والدولي لمحاربة وهزيمة التطرف والإرهاب وبخاصة داعش الإجرامية التي لا تمت إلى ديننا الحليف بأية صلة ويتيح الفرصة لأن تقوم الدول العربية والإسلامية بإقامة علاقات طبيعية مع إسرائيل وهذا بالضبط ما حددته القمم العربية والتي كان آخرها قمة الأردن قبل أسابيع Mr. President, uh, for us to uh, bring about a uh, comprehensive and just peace based on the two-state solution, such marrow would give a great impetus to the Arab Peace Initiative and the other initiatives, international initiatives, as well as it enables to fight and deter terrorism and fight uh, the criminal ISIS group, ISIS that, ha that is totally innocent and has nothing to do with our noble religion. And that also, if we create peace that is just and comprehensive, that will also lead the Arab and the Islamic countries to have normal relations with Israel Israel based as stipulated in the previous Arab summits, the latest of which was the Arab summit in Jordan. I am a believer in the President that you are capable of success because you have the desire and the desire in this success. And that's why we are capable of a new opportunity على مناسبة جديدة من أجل تحقيق هذه هذا السلام برعايتكم. Mr. President, we believe that we are capable and able to bring about success to our efforts because, Mr. President, you have the determination and you have the desire to see it uh, become uh, to fruition and to become successful. And we, Mr. President, inshallah, God willing, we are coming into a new opportunity, a new horizon that would enable us to bring about peace in that regard. إن جميع قضايا الوضع النهائي قابلة للحل وأنا متأكد أنها قابلة للحل وبما يشمل اللاجئين والأسرة وذلك استنادا إلى القانون الدولي والشرعية الدولية والمرجعيات المحددة وقد نصت الاتفاقات السابقة على عدم اتخاذ أي خطوات أحادية من شأنها استباق نتائج مفاوضات الوضع الدائم. Mr. President, as far as the a permanent uh, solution. Uh, we believe that this is possible and able to be resolved. I am firmly believing that this is possibly we are able to resolve it and uh, in that I also believe that we will be able to resolve the issue of the refugees and the issue of the prisoners. According to the international law, according to the terms of the international law, the international legitimacy and the uh, various relevant uh, 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 references and terms of reference in that regard and based on what is stipulated in the previous treaties and agreements that no unilateral steps must be taken to get ahead uh, uh, of uh, the agreement and discussing those issues. لقد أنا الأوان أن تنهي إسرائيل احتلالها لأرضنا وشعبنا بعد خمسين سنة من الاحتلال نحن الشعب الوحيد الذي بقي في هذا العالم تحت الاحتلال ولذلك نريد أن نحصل على حريتنا وعلى كرامتنا وعلى حقنا في تقرير المصير 
وأن تعترف إسرائيل بدولة فلسطين كما نحن نعترف بدولة إسرائيل. Mr. President, it's about time for Israel to end its occupation of our people and of our land. After 50 years, we are the only remaining people in the world that still live under occupation. We are aspiring and want to achieve our freedom, our dignity, and our right to self-determination. And we also want for Israel to recognize the Palestinian state just as the Palestinian people recognize the state of Israel. أؤكد لكم يا فخامة الرئيس أننا نربي أطفالنا وأحفادنا وأولادنا على ثقافة السلام وأننا نسعى ليعيشوا بأمن وحرية وسلام مثل باقي أطفال العالم هم والأطفال الإسرائيليون Mr. President, I affirm to you that we are raising our youth, our children, our grandchildren on a culture of peace, and we are endeavoring to uh, bring about security, freedom, and peace for our children to live like the other children in the world, along with the Israeli children, in peace, uh, freedom, and security. لنجعل من الأرض المقدسة للديانات السماوية الثلاث اليهودية والمسيحية والإسلام ملاذا يوفر الأمن والأمانة والسلام والاستقرار والعدل للجميع Mr. President, I bring with me today a, the message of the uh, suffering of my people as well as their aspirations and hope, the hopes and the aspiration of the Palestinian people from the Holy Land, from that land where the three monotheist religions uh, thrived and uh, uh, the Jewish faith, the Christian faith and uh, the Muslim faith where they all coexist together to foster it in an environment of security peace and stability and love for all. لكم. لتحقيق معاهدة سلام تاريخية برعايتكم وقيادتكم. Mr. President, I believe that we are capable under your leadership and your stewardship, to uh, your, your courageous stewardship and your wisdom, we are, and as well as your uh, great negotiating ability. I believe with the grace of God and with all of your effort, we believe that we can uh, become, we, we can be partners, true partners to you to bring about a historic uh, peace treaty under your stewardship to uh, 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 bring about peace. Now, Mr. President, with you, we have hope. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're going to start a process. We've spoken to Bibi Netanyahu.